This is definitely the most colorful thrift haul I have ever done. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Peace and shiners, Lexus and Shane 83 are here. Hello, hello, super sunny day, what is up? Today's video is a thrift haul, but it is a spring thrift haul. Ooh, spring, bright colors, florals galore. Now I know, it's technically still winter, but I live in Southern California, winter does not exist. It's literally gonna be 80 in the next couple days, so I felt like it was appropriate. Now before we get started, I did just wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. From websites to online stores to marketing tools, Squarespace is the only one platform to help you build a beautiful online presence and run your business, which I'll be talking about a little bit later in the video. Let's get into the spring spirit. Let's all feel like flowers. I don't think I have a favorite flower, to be honest. Like, I mean, I guess it's some flowers. I, uh, yeah, I guess I have, I guess that's like my favorite flower. I don't love flowers, ironically, that I'm gonna be showing you guys stuff with flowers on them. I'm definitely more of just like a plant, plant like grass. No, I'm, Grass is not my favorite plant. Okay, anyway, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go. <laughs> now, not all of these items have tags on them just because I've thrifted them like a couple weeks ago. I've already washed them. Other ones do have the tags. Some of them, I kind of remember how much they were, but I'm gonna do my best to like guesstimate. The first one I ended up getting is this beautiful satin pink tank top. It's very similar to a style I've been seeing on Urban Outfitters. I'll show you like right here. And a lot of times before I go thrifting, I'll go on like Urban Outfitters or Pinterest to get some sort of like inspiration. I really like this pink because it is more of a pastel, almost like a mauve pink, I would say. It's not very bright pink. It is just a like satin tank top, but because it has a almost like scooped neck, whatever the heck it's called. It's originally from Charlotte Russe. It is in a small and I got it for $8 and they actually had two different ones. They had this one and then also a red one, but the red one wasn't a satin. It was more just like a normal tank top with the scoop neck. And I was trying to decide between both of them, but the Forever 21 one was $10 and this one was $8. And I was like, Plato's Closet, you're playing me with these prices. So I bought the cheaper one. You know, when the weather is warmer, you kind of just like give up sometimes when it comes to styling because you're like, I'm way too hot to even like care. And so I really want to build on different style of tank tops that are gonna keep me cool, but are also cute. This goes in perfectly with what I was just saying. It's originally from Forever 21. It is a medium and it was $12. And it is this yellow floral tank top. Literally these, oh, they're like, stretchy. Wow. I love this shirt. I love the yellow. I love just like the pattern on it. I think it is so beautiful. It kind of has that like satin pajama shirt style a bit and it's got a little lace on there. I'm honestly surprised it's in good condition. The only thing I don't love is like the buttons are on the side and it's not like a big deal. I just think it would have been better if they were on the back. So that's only just like weird thing, but other than that, it's a pretty perfect top. This isn't necessarily the most colorful thing, but it was just a good stripe shirt. I It's kind of like a crop top. Yeah, it's like a crop. Honestly, it looks like a little boy shirt. I thought the colors were really, really nice. Kind of that like, I don't know, these deep primary, are these primary colors? I definitely don't wear deeper colors like this very often, but I really like green. Oh, I forgot. Did I sell how much it was? It was $10. This kind of has the same style. I don't know. It definitely does not. But anyway, this one is originally from Urban Outfitters. It is in a medium. It was $12. And it's just this beautiful, like delicate, looking crop top. It is so cute. It is just like so precious. I love the pattern so much. It definitely reminds me of like a blanket that my grandma would own. And the interesting part that I didn't realize it when I was like, when I grabbed it and then tried it on is it almost has like a puff sleeve effect, like not the full on puff sleeve, but it's got a little like puff on there, which I actually think is really cool. This I was also thinking wearing under like tank top styles or like these kind of dresses just to kind of like step it up. That's why I always like to find items that do have a little bit of pattern that doesn't like scare me. It's not like too much pattern because most of the time the bottom half of my body is just plain. It's just plain Jane. Now this isn't spring, but I really wanted it because it is a Britney Spears crop top and it's freaking amazing. Actually, Britney Spears was my very first concert. Hit Me Baby One More Time was like where it was at. It is originally from Britney Spears collection. It is in a large, it was $12 and it looks like somebody like DIY cropped it, which I wish it was like that normal length, but it's okay. I still love it. 
got a little Britney on there. And I'm just really excited to wear this. And usually you don't find that kind of stuff unless you go to like the Mellow's Trading Post or the Rose Bowl where it's like hyped up to like $50. So $12 for a Britney Spears t-shirt, I think is really good. And talking about good prices for things that usually are more expensive, Harley Davidson t-shirt, which is very surprising. I got this also at Playlist Closet, which finding Harley Davidson stuff at Playlist Closet doesn't really happen often. And when it does, it's always in the weirdest places. And it just looks like that. It says red Redline Harley Davidson. Ooh, Canada. I really want to go to Canada, so sorry. You know, I never looked at the back actually. I'm really happy about this one because the front is like, says Harley Davidson on it, but it's nothing like too much or like too intense. I know I have some more intense ones with like flames and skulls. So this is a more like, ah, Harley Davidson. Ooh, scenery. Back on to kind of more colorful things. This one is originally by Forever 21. It is in a small and I got it for $12. And basically it's what I'm wearing right now. Literally the same exact shirt. And I've been wanting to find another one like this that was just white. And I've been searching for a while. So I was really excited to find this one. Most of the time I like to wear them under stuff and I felt like the bright one would go with a lot and I'm really excited about this. There's not much I can say about a white t-shirt crop top thing. It's just, it's there and you can style it and it's great. <laughs> then getting back into some colorful pieces, I got this dress, which is just so precious. I'm actually quite surprised that I love it so much. I actually showed John and he's like, if I picked that out for you, you'd be like, I don't like that, it's too girly. I mean, that's probably correct, but I'm feeling it. It is originally from Forever 21. It is in a medium and it was $12. And I just think this is like the most spring you can get. And this one I just felt was so nice that I will wear, let me tell you, I will wear. <laughs> Going into another colorful spring dress. This one is also from Forever 21. It is in a medium and I don't have the tag anymore because I did already wash it. I feel like it would be like $12. I feel like it would be the same price. So we're just gonna go with that. The only thing is it doesn't have like a layer. Like the whole dress has a layer under it almost like a slip to help it not be super see-through but like it doesn't have that over the boobs i mean i guess if you are wearing a bra then it's that's the extra layer but like what if you don't wear a bra like i don't know i really like the sleeves they're really nice like chiffon material yeah i have a lot of dresses oh my god i have a couple more dresses that's why i'm saying that but i'm yeah i'm really proud of myself gosh darn this shirt is black so it's not very spring um but i saw it and it's looks exactly like this shirt also from Urban Outfitters and I had to get it. It is originally from Forever 21. It was $12 and it does say that it's a large and when I picked it up I was like will it fit me? I don't know but because it is this type of material this like shirt shearling. Is that the shearling? She shearing? Shearing? I literally watched an entire video of how to like sew this and I don't even remember what it's called but anyway I tried it on because it is that material it is very like stretchy material and it actually goes back into place so it definitely does not fit like a large i it more fits like a pretty good medium i mean even the sleeves the sleeves never fit they always fall down because i don't have like a big enough chest to kind of like hold it all together it fits perfect i think having that kind of ruffled there really just keeps it down and I am so happy I just tried it and then the sleeves are really cool. I've said it before, thrifting is amazing because people try these trends, they realize they actually hate them and then they donate them. So although it can take a couple of months, you will definitely see any trends that are popular now in the next couple months at the thrift stores. Now this one I actually had gotten on ThreadUp when I had worked with them, but this was like separate. It is originally from Urban Outfitters. It is in a medium and it actually has the original Urban Outfitters tag on there, which is crazy crazy. It was originally $69. Then it went on sale for $39 and I got it for $16.99. This yellow dress. Let me tell you, this thing is so see-through. I really didn't realize how see-through it was. So I would definitely have to get a skin colored slip or just something if I did want to wear it as a dress because it is just so gosh darn see-through. Honestly, if they would have just taken like where this boob area is, that extra layer all throughout the dress, then it would be like totally fine. So I will probably wear it just as a like shirt. It's really, really thin that I think tucking in wouldn't be a problem because I really like it. Originally when I got it, I was like, I don't know how I feel about it because of how see-through it is. 
but I really, really like this top portion. I think this part is really interesting. It's like a nice little keyhole, like, woo, that's my chest. Now this one I had, it's another yellow dress and it is originally from Nasty Gal. It is in a US 10. It actually has the original like tag on there. I got it for $16.99. The theme about it is when I got it, I kind of knew it was gonna be a little bit too big because it was a size 10 and I'm usually like a size six depending on where, but it is a little bit loose but I love it so much that I do not care. I'm pretty sure I'm going to sew it a little bit tighter because this is the cutest dress I have literally ever seen and I love it so much. And the nice part is the back, it already kind of is stitched up a certain way where if I kind of do that again, it won't make too much of a difference, which is really, really great because I'm sure I'm not gonna do a good job trying to resize this. Look at these two yellows. Like, isn't that like, it's way more green. This one's like, pretty, it's not banana yellow. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say it's like pea yellow. And I was like, Alexa, don't be gross. Don't gross out your viewers. But then it's not really that gross really because we all do it, so. This one is originally from Nasty Gal. I got it for $16 and I don't have a lot of like professional looking clothes that are also casual that I feel comfortable wearing. A lot of the professional looking clothes just don't feel like me. And I've definitely had that existential crisis of like, oh, I'm 25 years old. Should I be like wearing suits and stuff? But like, why? <laughs> Which is obviously the best thing about fashion. There's no age to it. You wear whatever the heck you want. And this was my way of just kind of like testing the waters of that. And I really, really like it. I think this with even some gold jewelry, is just so pretty and you can't go wrong with a white button up. It's like a white t-shirt. It kind of goes with everything. It's really easy to style. And on those days when you don't know what to wear, but you want to look put together, this is a really great option. This tank top, I thought was gonna be like the satin type of tank top, but it's not. It's more just like cotton material, which is fine, but I wanted that kind of like more satin look to it, but I'm still pretty happy. It's animal print. I really like the lace part. It is originally from Shein. It is in a medium and it was $5.99 and surprisingly like it's in great condition. I don't know you would think like from Shein or like Forever 21 that those pieces would be like completely torn up because they usually don't last that long but it's going strong and I just thought it was another way to add a tank top into my collection that was a little bit different and also the nice part about this is the lace is like under the underarm. I sweat really bad under my underarms and like if there's two like if there's some light colors or like pattern there and I sweat you can see it, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it does have the lace right there. So it's a little like breathable as well. So like my sweat can kind of like go out the holes. And then I ended up getting a denim jacket that's originally from Misguided. It is in an eight and it was $15.99. It's a little bit much, but it does have these like faux leather. What's this called? I'm trying to look up what it's called, but I don't know what it's called, so I can't look it up. But anyway, it's a denim jacket. It's got that thing. I just thought it was really interesting. Definitely reminds me of Coachella. It is a very interesting denim jacket as well, because obviously it's from Misguided, so it's that more like cheap denim material, so it's quite thin, versus the more like proper structured denim jackets that I own. But this one was just really interesting. I really like the back, like little studs that it has on there. And it is like so quite warm. It's really breathable. It's really flexible as well because it is such a light fabric. I literally only own one black denim jacket and it's because most of the time they're just like bland. Like there's nothing really to them. So this was interesting enough that it caught my eye and I'm really excited about it. With spring coming up and January basically being over, I'm trying to just challenge myself for this new year in my style and also in kind of doing things that I've always wanted to do. One big thing is making a website to resell some kind of like bigger item clothes. Still working on it, but I am currently doing it with Squarespace, which is, like I said, today's sponsor. So let's talk about them. Who are they? With Squarespace, you can stand out online with a professional website, an online store, or a portfolio. You can turn any of your ideas into a reality with Squarespace. For me, the e-commerce tools are super important because I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. And whether you're just getting started like myself or you're an established brand, their platform helps your business grow, especially when it comes to templates. I don't know about you, but anytime I go on a website and it's like kind of garbage, it kind of like turns me off. So the easy to customize templates on Squarespace are super important to help create an expressive online store. So you can showcase your products at their absolute best. And with Squarespace's image editor, you can actually edit the photos using the built-in image editor 
you can crop it, resize it, rotate it, adjust brightness, contrast. It makes it just nice because it's just one stop shop. And you can also showcase video of the products, which I think is really great. So then you're actually showing what the item actually looks like actually. And Squarespace is there for you if you have any issues with our award-winning customer support. They have 24-7 support. So if you are thinking about starting that blog or online website or portfolio for your photography business, I definitely recommend checking out Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash alexasunshine83 to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And hopefully my online website, Thini, it'll be coming soon. But in the meantime, if you like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, the Rifting with me's make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Alex and Shine 83 to keep up to date with me during the week. I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new Sunday Sunday video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!